Hello and welcome back super mums. In today's video we're going to be talking about the importance of finding your tribe and building your community in motherhood. As always please make sure you are liking, sharing and subscribing so we can reach more mums and become part of their tribe too. So the phrase like find your tribe, build your tribe is getting a bit of a bad rep at the moment. It's starting to be seen as cliquey and mums that only have one or two friends are feeling bad and because they haven't got this massive tribe and this thing should be huge. And I'm here to say that that is not the case. I see so much value in finding your tribe but your tribe could look like so many different things. It could be a massive group of mums that all hang out once a week, once a month, whatever it is. You could have this and they all know each other. It could be that you're like me and you're better with the one-on-one the -on -one kind of relationship. My tribe, although has a few people in it, a fair few people in it, is lots of one-on-ones. Most of them don't really know each other within it. Now, they're starting to meet because I will bring them together at things like my birthday or just do like random spontaneous tea parties or dinner parties and they'll get the crossover there. But I'm like, the connecting point of that and it, it's it been built of one-to-ones, my one-to-one -one friendships within that group. It's not that we are all a group and an all a tribe together. So someone that's within my tribe, her tribe might be a load of other people and I'm just one part of her tribe. This is really important because it's a way of building community and I've spoken about this before on the importance of community. Women, it, naturally like scientifically in our dna to thrive in community back in the caves saying that a lot at the moment back in the caves if we didn't connect and have that community we weren't going to survive so it's literally like ingrained in us those that survived survival of the fittest and all that the cave situation is because they were good at building community now again just like your tribe your community can be completely different. My community, I have a, a community at church and then some of those move over to my community, like business community and my personal community. Like there's lots of crossover, but it's knowing that you have this extended support network beyond your family, often beyond your friends. So often you'll have people within your community that will be there and support you, but aren't necessarily your sort of inner circle of friends as well. Don't shy away from these kind of connections there might be a level at which they, they stop and you both kind of know your boundaries for this friendship and this connection and you know how you support each other. But they are still an important part of your life, an important part of your community. It takes a village to raise a child. You might find yourself with like a happy medium, like the, the Sex and the City girls, there was the, their little group of four and then they all had their own little offshoots, like an odd friend here and an odd friend there. They were a group that all knew each other, but it was a smaller size group maybe that's where you fit happily in. And you'll also find the dynamic within that group will change and a new person might come in and a new person might leave. It's still a tribe. Tribe is not defined by its size or shape or what you do when you hang out together or how you communicate, none of that. And again, don't let social media tell you how your tribe should look. It's up to you to decide how your tribe should look, but it's also up to you to nurture that. Put into those friendships and take out of those friendships. It's a give and flow, a constant ebb and flow. Not, we're not score keeping here. We're not saying I'm not gonna help Kate because Kate never helps me. It's a constant flow of give and take. And actually in so many situations in life, I find I get so much just by giving. I learn and grow just by giving. And I do think in life, things do come back to you. So speaking of tribes and community, I'd love you to come over and join the Facebook community group, which I will link down below. I look forward to connecting with you on this amazing journey through motherhood. And remember that being a super mum is all about being the mum that you want to be. Remember, don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications to never miss out on a video again. Oh,